After having the best time in Ha Long Bay, we are now in Hanoi to wrap up our travels in Vietnam. You can expect us to explore cafes, eat a whole lot with a side of a much needed spa treatment. Right now, we're in the old quarter about to visit Hidden Gem Cafe for breakfast and to try Vietnam's famous egg coffee for the first time. morning from Hanoi. Uh, today or this morning we are here at Hidden Gem Cafe and this is actually one of the things, don't judge me, that I am the most excited for. The egg coffee is something that I've seen on Instagram and a couple of YouTube videos and it sounds like an awesome and fantastic idea and I'm super excited to try it. Not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical, skeptical about hearing about egg in my coffee. Like I don't, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it at first but just to see how it looks. It looks very delicious, so I'm hoping that it tastes just as good. And this place is really cute. It's very aesthetic, like Instagrammable. You can take cute pictures here. And just how they decorated it is very unique. So I'm loving the feel and the vibe of this place so far. Yeah. We also ordered uh, banh mi. We got some spring rolls and a couple other things. So we'll show all that as well. I'm about to try this egg coffee for the first time. See what all the hype is about. The flavor is good, but it's not hot. Like that's what's throwing me off. It's not. It's not hot enough. Not hot enough. It's lukewarm. Yeah, it's lukewarm. So, I tried the egg coffee. It was okay. I really did enjoy the uh, the actual cream on top. Between the coffee being really bitter and it being lukewarm, it just didn't give what it needed to give for me. So I'm sad. We also didn't go to the place that's like known for their coffee, their egg coffee. There's this specific spot that's been here for like 50 years or something that I wanted to go to to actually try like the real, you know, from where it was created from. Um, but I like bitter coffee. Like, I'm the person that can enjoy black coffee. So it wasn't the uh, the taste for me. I thought the taste was pretty good. It was the temperature. I needed it to be hot, and it wasn't. So I, that was just the one thing that I didn't enjoy from this place. Everything else that we had was very, very good. Absolutely. Do not get me wrong. It is absolutely worth visiting Hidden Gem Coffee. Yes, for uh, sure. The banh mi here was definitely the best banh mi that I've had so far. Mm -hmm. um, but I was actually really impressed by their spring rolls. We had the deep fried spring rolls and the fresh ones. And the quality of those was amazing and fantastic. There was a lot of meat in it. There was a lot of vegetables. It tasted super fresh. Um, so this place is absolutely worth visiting. For sure. I agree. Something that I wanted to touch upon, I'm always a fan of when restaurants or other establishments, hotels, lodging, that they use recyclable materials. This place is super big and keen on that. The chairs, the tables, um, the light fixtures are all actually made out of recyclable materials. Save the planet. We were overdue for a massage, so we decided to try Hanoi's Old Quarter Spa. The atmosphere was perfectly tranquil and they greeted us with tea, a warm towel, and even washed our feet in preparation for the experience. We were also able to choose which essential oil to use for our massage as well. I just had the best massage I think that I've ever gotten. <laughs> I'm a little by, it might be a little recency bias, but honestly, I am so thrilled with that massage that I just got. Uh, how do you feel about it? I feel great. It was amazing. Honestly, they gave the right amount of pressure. They knew what they were doing, especially as physical therapist assistants. We know a lot about muscles and they were, they were hitting the right spot. So I highly recommend coming to this place if you're looking for a nice treatment. I also got a body scrub and my skin feels so soft and smooth and moisturized. It was great. I loved every bit of it. Yeah, it was a little bit of, of acupressure, um, a little bit of Thai massage, a little stretching, for, for mine at least, 
and it was just super on point. I feel like a new man. I'm ready <laughs> to go do a little bit more exploring in Vietnam. Highly recommend this place. It will be in the description. When you come to Hanoi, come get a massage here. You will not be disappointed. No. And when you do, and you have a fantastic time, you owe me Let a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you guys later. So super quick backstory on this. Last night after dinner, we had a little feeling for something sweet and we found this donut shop on Google with some really good reviews and the donuts look fantastic. And we could not find this place. We asked for directions, we were using Google Maps and this place was just completely hidden from us. We finally made it. So <laughs> here we are getting ready to try these donuts. I'm super excited to try them. They have a bunch of different flavors and they all looked really good. The first one that we're gonna try is mango passion fruit. First of all, the passion fruit here in Vietnam has been like one of my favorite things. The passion fruit drinks are so good. So if you ever come here, you have to try it. That's pretty much what made me try, wanna try this donut here. Wow. That's good. Very soft. The frosting isn't like a traditional frosting. It's kind of like a, a cream that's on top. That was really good. This is really good. And the actual donut isn't like too sweet. No. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a really good balance. Also got a strawberry milk. Well, it's like milk with strawberries at the bottom. Levon is the type of person that has to have milk when he has something sweet, like literally every time. So, have not to. surprised that he got that. Have to. Uh, which other one do you want to try? Um, I want to try the matcha. He's not a fan of matcha, but... Definitely not. This one is kind of like a sandwich. Was it? I like it. Mm. It's like bitter and sweet at the same time. Just like this cream on the inside. That's nice. I like I'm that. I'm gonna try a Boston cream now. The chocolate is kind of like a dark chocolate with the mixture of the cream, so it's a literally the perfect balance between kind of like those kind of like bitter notes of the chocolate with the sweetness of the cream. Very good. And I love how soft uh, the donuts are here. Fresh. Perfect, perfect texture of donuts. Let me try it. Look at donuts and got nothing on them. Got nothing on them. Not one thing. <laughs> if you're in Hanoi, and if you're craving something sweet, we highly recommend checking out, what is this place called, Lima? Lim Donuts. Lim Donuts, wow. <laughs> To wrap up our last night in Vietnam, we decided to visit a beautiful restaurant here in Hanoi called Mia's Restaurant. Here they have beautifully crafted traditional Vietnamese meals with reasonable prices and also a menu vegetarians can also enjoy. Every detail from the appetizers to the main course was flawless, not to mention the great service that was provided here to us as well.
Each meal was given a brief explanation and simply elevated the overall experience here. If you're looking for a delicious meal in Hanoi, then definitely add Mia's restaurant to your itinerary and come back and let us know how you enjoyed it. This was an unforgettable trip to Vietnam. If you missed the rest of our time here, definitely check out our previous videos and subscribe so you don't miss our next destination.